Hey guys, uh, right now I'm going to talk about egregores real quick. I don't really know much about egregores. I've always thought of them to be the same as energy avatars, but that is totally not true. And I'm going to read you guys a quick excerpt from Being and Perceiving by Daniel E. Haycock. An egregore is the embodiment of collective aims of a group. Just as I have suggested that society functions as a superorganism, any smaller group of people can be considered in the same terms. An egregore is the mini-psyche of a small group of people who are united by a common purpose, just as a servitor is a collection of traits geared toward a specific purpose. Egregores are capable of surviving the deaths of their founding members if new members continue striving towards the original goal and line with the original intent. Morrison has described corporate entities as egregores. Note that I am not suggesting that an egregore has a mind or consciousness, as is the case with the social psyche. An egregore does not possess the structural mechanisms necessary for the emergence of an internal psychology. However, like society as a whole, egregores operate in ways which are not explicable in terms of their individual components. For example, Recent studies conducted in Denmark have demonstrated that when people improvise music together, no single musician leads the song. All involved continually adjust their playing so as to remain in harmony with one another. Researchers have concluded that when people are interacting in such a way, they have most accurately described not as to they are most accurately described not as two interacting systems, but as a single complex system. Whenever we interact with others, we build a shared world. When that world is consciously imbued with intent, it becomes an egregore. Okay, so I really like what they're saying about this. The idea that an egregore comes from when multiple people work together, but they work together in order to work in harmony with each other, rather than any one individual leading the pack, then it's an egregore. So an egregore is essentially a manifestation of everyone working together toward a common goal, where specifically everyone's working together toward a common goal in like an improvised manner, like doing it as they go. I don't feel like he's saying it has to be improvised, but at the same time I feel like that's a cooler definition for an egregore. Um, it seems to be way cooler when the focus is we all have a goal, and we're all working together, but no individual person is the leader. We're all trying to harmonize with one another, and that harmony is where the egregore comes from, and also the idea that the egregore existing as a group psyche kind of entity in which each of you are trying to like hive mind together can move from one group to another. For example, if all the people decided to not work together for that common goal, a new group of people could and the egregore would be reborn kind of thing. So I like the idea of an egregore. What do you guys think? Uh, tell me in the comment section below and stay tuned for more content. Superman, Lois, and Clark is a thing. Okay, so New 52, um, if you guys are aware of what's going on in DC Comics a while ago, they started the New 52, in which they rebooted the DC Comics line. Um, this happened after the Flashpoint event, in which everything's taking place in a new universe, uh, there's like a five year gap, and you're catching up with the superheroes as they're kind of in their prime. So it was a fresh new start, there are a lot of fresh new takes. I personally like New 52, there are a lot of people who don't. Uh, the Convergence event happened a while ago, and it was essentially a bunch of the universes that have been gone due to like past crisis events. Crisis events are similar to Flashpoint in which universes are destroyed and new, ver and new universes are created or universes are collided together and then later separated kind of thing. So Convergence took all the different universes from the different crisis events and kind of continued all of their stories while merging all their stories together which is why it's the Convergence. Um, Convergence ended, and now there's this new Superman title called Superman, Lois, and Clark. And it's about the Superman that existed before Flashpoint. So it's the Superman from, like, the old comic books. Not, like, super old, but pre-Flashpoint comics. That Superman being in the New 52. And the New 52 Superman still exists, but what we're saying is that, or well, what they're saying is right after Convergence, the Superman from the pre-Flashpoint universe appeared in the New 52 universe and has been there 
like for nine years. Um, I think so. I think that's what they're saying that they've been that he's been there for nine years. So that being said, um, he's lived through all these New Fifty Two events, but he's also there with Lois and his son Jonathan, which I'm assuming is Lois and Clark's son. Like they got together and had a kid, which would imply that Jonathan is half Kryptonian. But Superman and Lois have a kid. And they're in the New 52 universe where there's a different Superman and Lois who don't have a kid. And I'm actually really interested in it. I haven't read it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. There are people who are going as far as to say that they don't care about New 52 Superman anymore. And that this pre-Flashpoint Superman who's currently in continuity within the New 52 is the only Superman they care about and they want to know more. And they also, I've heard that the Superman that's in Superman, Lois, and Clark is the one who defeated Darkseid. And I'm really excited about that um, in the Justice League comic. It's that Superman who did it, not the Superman from the New 52. So yeah, what do you guys think about that? Um, and post that in the comment section below what you think. I'm getting a phone call right now. Uh, post in the comment section below what you think about Superman, Lois, and Clark. Uh, would you check it out? Uh, do you prefer pre-Flashpoint Superman or New 52 Superman? Uh, tell me more, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, so I've only heard um, the young bitch and the California sweetheart um, mixtape and album of Little Debbie, but now I've learned that there's a Keep It Lit album uh, by Little Debbie, and I'm going to check that out. Uh, the first song on the Keep It Lit album I think I may have heard before, um, but I'm going to keep listening to it, um, see if there are any songs that I haven't heard before by Little Debbie, and see how the album is. Uh, what do you guys think about the Keep It Lit album if you've heard it before? If you've never heard of Little Debbie, um, I recommend you check her out. Tell me what you think about her in the comment section below, and stay tuned for more content. Hey guys, we started Superhero Battle League, where we look at different hero stats, and we compare them together in order to do battles. Uh, this being Jean Grey and Peter Blood. Will's kind of salty about his team. Um, essentially, you pick three heroes, and they have a battle order, and it was three team to three. So Will's team was. Yeah. Jean Grey, um, Supergirl, yeah. and Phoenix. And then, Which should stop, and then, but we did it from base death, and, and so they got wrecked. And then my team was Power Girl, Big Barda, and Wonder Woman. And then Hannah's team was Marvel Girl, Miss Martian, and She-Hulk. Yeah. I won the first battle, which was between Power Girl, Jean Grey, and Marvel Girl. And then Will won the second battle, which was Supergirl, Big Barda, and Miss Martian. But then I won the third battle with Wonder Woman versus Phoenix and She Hulk. And somehow Phoenix lost that fight. I'm so salty. Phoenix should never lose. Um, Ooh, it's your cam loose, just not the Wonder Woman, Piano because Wonder Woman can't kill those who are immortal. Well, uh, <laughs> you know what? Percussion. <laughs> she's still fucked in the ass. That is true. That, that lasso of truth, um, Bell. But it was like, <laughs> it's so bad. One song that was like a minute. So, yeah. Song. What theme do you we want uh, uh, the next one to be, you guys? Like, yeah. why? We should do only villains. Only villains? That's kind of vague. Can we add more than yeah, just only villains? Yeah, but I want it to be based off a of villain. I'm cool with that. I'm completely you down with that. Your face. Yes, I did. Marcy, who I know doesn't dark. want to be on it, so I flipped it around to show no Will. No one oh, hi. I'm, I'm Will. I'm sorry. I missed what you said. Shaved your face with the mace in the dark. I don't. I don't get no. that reference. Oh, I need to get my. Brandon, don't let the trailer part. No. Yeah. This is what we're doing, okay? <laughs> I'm not hating you. I'll just straight up take Darth Vader. So what, um, are there any limits? Is it like only villains who are like mutants, or only villains who are DC, or only villains no, who are Marvel? No, no, just villains. No, no, we've got to narrow that down, because that's going to be a really long list. Male villains, female villains? I feel like it can only be Marvel villains. Marvel villains? Someone's watching Doctor Who. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do just... Doctor Who is the best. 
Oh man. Oh, yeah. Hannah's back. If y'all, if y'all, uh, if y'all reset your IP to British, don't touch it. If y'all reset your UK, IP to the uh, I UK, mean, the the you can yeah, watch fun. all of Doctor Who for Thanks free. Thanks again. Oh, okay. Okay. no problem. Oh. Wait, you can watch uh, all of Doctor Who for free? Wait, wait, what? You change your IP to be British. Yeah. It's You're fucking kidding me. Oh, it's all on Netflix anyway. No, it's not. not no, all. not the newer series. Oh, not the, not the well, newer I mean, series. I've got that on my DVR. Shit, yeah, exactly. But I mean, so. You know, yeah, it's still pretty amazing. But I want to know where. No! I, can watch, I want to know where I can watch all the classic Who. Probably on know, BBC. On Netflix. Are you it's down for only Marvel there. villains? Well, it's the beginning. Yeah, sure, man. No, okay, no. Like so that's what we'll do next. So you guys stay tuned like for more like content the, um, and super power and battle like action. It starts at like the four And then I was like, oh, my ass. So <laughs> Hannah <laughs> just wrecked yeah. us. Hannah, let me name the teams. I had, I'm looking at the wrong side. I had Evil Deadpool, uh, someone with a B. Shit. Beyonder? <laughs> Beyonder. <laughs> At Evil Deadpool, Beyonder, and Tyrant. And then Will had Onslaught, Fallen One Two, and Galactus and That's then, right, guys, he has two letter er, he has two numbers in his name. And then, Fallen One Two. And then Hannah had Apocalypse, Abraxas, and Thanos. Okay. She stole Apocalypse in Unlawful Combat. Hannah. Unlawful. There was Jet like also stole rules. evil Deadpool from me in there were rules. unlawful combat. Hannah won. Fucking throw a scissors. By like you can cut paper. This mm. much. You throw a rock. You can crush scissors. Hannah threw had won by this much the first round because um, Hannah had like five, and then Will had three, and then I had four. So everyone was only losing by like a margin of like one when it came to stats. But then, I wrecked, like, round two. But you gotta tell them about the first <laughs> intelligence and then combat. Oh, yeah. the same fucking numbers. Our intelligence and our combats, like, all tied. Were the same non-100 Yeah, ties. there were non-100 ties, which is really weird. Like, it was everyone 88 had 88 intelli intelligence and, and 56 combat. combat. Exactly. And then, uh, Hannah and I both had, you know, the other four, we all had 100s and three of them. Yeah, you guys had... Yeah, you... And then Deadpool has 100s in those four stats. You got fucked in matter. speed, and I got fucked in... No, he got fucked in strength. Because yeah, strength is the oh, first it is S. strength. I looked at speed below it. And then, and then you got, got you fucking got durability. Fucking durability was 99. Yeah, she had 99 durability. <laughs> she just needed one point, and she would have been fine. It's horrible. She would have tied and, up. And who is that again? That was Abraxas' bitch ass. I know. <laughs> <laughs> face, motherfucker. But Hannah whooped us. Hannah, the same way that, like, yeah, Hannah won Beyond Erect in the mid round, Hannah Erect in the With final Hannah. round. With all six. I had five, Will had five, and With Hannah all had six. all six. Because Thanos is the most powerful character. All six. Whoa. I fucked those bitches. Right? Where? You want to see who. I'll show you who my winning was. You can see you can Okay. Um, you guys. Um, I'm about to pull up images for you guys of the battle stats for that round. So stay no. tuned for more content. Oh, by the way, I won the first one. Hannah won the second one. Will has not won an entire round yet. Uh, do you guys want to do another round before we go to bed? If we can do it within time? No, man. I'm we, going to bed. we can't do it within time. We can't do it within time? We could. We'd have to stay up late. Hannah, do you think you could do it within no. time? No. <laughs> <laughs> you need to tell me heads up. Like... Hey, you gotta do this shit. So like this was my team. Aren't they lovely? Look at look at those bitches. They're all evil. Oh, I'm going to. They're all oh, assholes. They're all villains. We did a all Marvel villain fight. Yep. They had to all be villains. Yep. <laughs> that, that's why they're all they red bars are 100s, by the way. Everybody in the ass. What? Anyway. Braxis ain't shit. Abraxas ain't shit compared to the rest Confirmed. Of the okay. <laughs> so you tell that to Abraxas when. Fucking Thanos is behind him. Yeah, that's my bitch. Who the fuck you talking to? And that's basically how it happened. Just so you know. The Brax thing shit. We all. And know. then Apocalypse. Yeah, we all. We all apocalypse is taken too. from me. I will assert that until the day I die. Fucking rock paper scissors. <laughs> Will's gonna be like. I call the first, like, and then she was just like. The I call the rock the hips. I want a one. You gonna be there? <laughs> Tell me about the war, father. I call the bucket. <laughs>
<laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Then this girl with purple and pink hair comes out. She fucked me. <laughs> right Damn me rocks and paper. I can't. Oh, hey. Okay. Star Wars. <laughs> oh. Excited for the new one. Post oh, yeah. in the comments. Or not. Don't do anything she says. She you know what? Just a sore loser. That's what she it is. She takes on your stuff. You're, you know, your She's balls are falling off. Oh, what do you guys they, think about I think they were rich. Superhero Battle League, by the way? I, I think that Hannah has some sort of unfair advantage taking 50 men <laughs> to pick one character. <laughs> and I was like, five minutes in, like, everyone good? And they're like, yeah, let's do it. I was like, all right. And then she's like, nah, 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 I'm not good yet. No. And then she like, finally decides on Apocalypse and was shouted out. I shouted out before and she's like, And then I, nah. then I spent 20 minutes of my life looking that shit up and then I was like, nah, bitch, rock, paper, scissors, this shit. And, Makes and, up a rule. And then Nick was like, yeah. Makes that up some happen. rule. I was like, see, it makes sense. You should just go like this. And we should tic-tac-toe for it. It's a more grounded paper game. That would take forever, game. though. No, nah, but I would never make a mistake and take that out. Mm. Because it's, I have a grid. Good. Flip a coin. There's, like, no actual player, like, interaction. It's but all I chance. I really liked the fact that I won. <laughs> well, you could have still won flipping a coin, but Not I'd rather... lower chances. I know, lower chances. That's why I prefer flipping a coin. My geniusness kind of was what... <laughs> Well, I'm just really Rock, paper, bad. fuck you! I'm just really bad at apparently doing rock, paper, scissors. But yeah. Well, you did the, like, beat rock and scissors all up in the anus. That thing. What the fuck was that? This? That's not rock, paper, scissors. No, when you... Oh, yeah, what's that? <laughs> what the like, I thought you were going to change. I thought you were going to change. I lost bullshit. No one that? plays that. <laughs> I don't know. Jen no made up some weird ass game that wasn't rock paper scissors because it was like, nah, I, I ain't gonna shoot no one. Like, alright, chat. Ooh, famous. Good night, Hannah. Good night, Moon. Ooh. She's wearing her best friend's shirt. He's awesome. Yeah, he was. He was pretty great. Um, hey, since I've got a floor here, um. You guys should look up my friend Daniel Davis on CaringBridge.com, read his story, and donate to childhood cancer research, because fuck cancer. Or do what Hannah should do. Yeah, Kari and Susie. <laughs> I feel okay. like Kari so doesn't want to be on camera, point? so I'm not going to like... That's kind of odd-ass penis right there. Look at his dick. But yeah. <laughs> oh, Kari, we created a superhero battle league, which is like fantasy football, but with superheroes. And we use superhero to database to get the stats. I fucked all of Hannah just wrecked us. Hannah did just no wreck us. I won all six here, and then I lost by like it? one. You Basically, gotta you pull up, like say I was fighting these two, or all of these. I'd win, like these would be a tie. We would get check marks all throughout here. We get check marks all throughout here. This guy would lose, but there, these two would get a check mark. These two would get a check mark, and this guy would have won because he's got 80 and that guy has got 60. Are all those stats equally dis- I mean, do they have the same amount of stats just distributed differently? So um, it looks no. like this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who he's pointing at? Abraxas. Abraxas. <laughs> no. no, you have to go and search Watch through yourself, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better middle finger. <laughs> um, basically, you have to research all of these and take out, because we went for Marvel off. villains. Yeah, mm -hmm. specifically Marvel villains oh. for this one. Last yeah. time it was female superheroes. Yeah. Okay. And villains. So it's just female. How do you do this? What website is this? Superhero, Superhero database. database. Oh, yeah. well, I mean, no, this. But there's only it's one narrative character. Database. Superhero database. Oh, okay. And then you just click. There's only one side by side. Naruto wow. character, and that's Naruto. But yeah. And it's unfortunate. Stay tuned for more content. Perfect.